What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome to the first episode of Maps Exposed for Modern Warfare. For those of you guys that are newer to the channel, this is the series where I go over a bunch of great lines of sight, jump spots, as well as a basic overview of the spawn locations on every map in the game. Now this time around, with Modern Warfare generally playing quite slow, I want to focus mainly on counter camping positions, rather than positions that would be considered a little bit too campy and a little too easy to lock down. So with that, let's hop into the first episode, and this is going to be on Hackney Yard. So first up, let's start off by the A Domination flag area over here, and the first thing I wanted to show you guys was a great counter line of sight to that window right there. You often get people sitting up there, pinning you back into your spawn, and it, it, it's kind of awkward to try and get a line of sight on it. Like, you could jump up here, that's one option. Another thing you could do is jump up right here, but with both of those options, you are exposing a pretty good amount of your body to the rest of the map. Instead, there's actually a perfect little sweet spot right about here, where if you're standing right next to this gate, you'll actually get a great line of sight on them, and you're only really exposing yourself to this line of sight right here. So, as long as you make sure that is clear first, this is an excellent way to counter those people that are camping in that window. Also, for the A Domination building right here, just wanted to point out there's several different ways that you can get to the second story, like there, or you can jump on that trash can, that's pretty obvious. Something that I don't see a lot of people doing, but it's really simple, is jump up on this fence, jump up this way, and then you can jump in and towards the window. Also, from this police car, it might look like you can't make this jump, but you absolutely can, it's actually pretty easy. So, that's several different ways to get to this window here. I don't see enough people approaching this window from that direction. Also, from this direction, just a little alternative for you. Instead of coming through the door where they might have a claymore waiting for you or they'll just be pre-aiming, instead, I find it's best to jump on this railing and then just jump into the window right here. And that often bypasses the claymore, and they usually don't see that one coming. Now, really interesting thing I wanted to point out here, a great counter sniping spot to the people that are going to be in that window there, which is a very, very common power position. If you're in the A Domination spawns, you've got a couple different options. Uh, first off from this car, you can jump up on this wall, and you can actually just barely see through this glass right here. Most people don't consider this. And from this range here, you can usually shoot through that no problem. It is a little inconsistent with letting bullet damage through, though. And also, if you wanted to, you could do it from all the way back here. Um on top of one of these rooftops here. You can get a little bit of a line of sight on those people. Although the further back you get, the more inconsistent bullet, pe bullet penetration gets. So it gets a little bit odd there. But just make sure to take a look through that window every now and then, and you might be able to just pick off a free kill against somebody on there. This also applies if they're standing on top of that rooftop that's inside the building right there. You can often see them through the window right here and just light them up. Now getting into the B domination area right here, the best way I've found to challenge people that are up in that window right there, instead of challenging from here, which you'll have to do if you want to cap the B flag at the same time, instead of doing that, I find it's really nice to just stand back like this, and you can pick them off through this really, really easily, and it's very difficult for them to see you when you're in this position compared to this position here. Now something you can do over on this side is you can actually hop up right here, and then there's kind of like a little invisible ledge that you can pop yourself up on right in this area here, where if you're crouched, they can't really see you in the window, then you can stand up and you've got a little bit of a line of sight. It's just something they don't normally expect, and you can cap from there, as you can see. Now, I'm sure most of you guys already know about this, but for those that don't, you can jump up onto this crate right here, and then from here you can jump into the window. It's a very useful thing that I'm doing very, very often while playing this map. Now, another thing that's really situation dependent, but I wanted to point out, is you can jump from the window to here. This is the only way to get up here, as far as I could tell. You can't jump on those barrels or anything. And this seems kind of useless, but there is one line of sight, and that's to that window across the way over there. And that could be useful for you in a very, very specific situation. I'm talking like a 1v1 situation in Search and Destroy where you know the enemy's over there and you just happen to be in this general area. Now this next thing is another great option for countering the people that are up in the window. If you can manage to get underneath them, which you can often do... This floor doesn't really block much bullet damage. Even with SMGs, you can just spray through this floor right here and light those people up that are standing and camping in that window. And this is going to lead to so many free kills for me. Can't wait to put this to use in a real game. Now getting outside of this area, if you want to get up to that window, don't be that guy that goes up the stairs and comes around the corner like this. This is always what they expect you to do. There's usually claymores waiting for you or they're just sitting there aiming at you. The best way to get up there is to come up this way and then jump into the window like that. Very, very simple and straightforward, and yet I see almost nobody actually doing this. Now getting into this little area here, there's a headquarters position in this area, so it, it can be quite important in that game mode, especially if you've got people in that doorway there or you suspect they're going to be in that doorway. Instead of trying to challenge them around the corner like this, the best thing you can do is actually jump on top of this, and there you go. Great line of sight on there. If you crouch, you have complete cover, stand up, and you've got a great line of sight into that doorway. 
This also works if you're challenging people that are coming around that corner there. Oftentimes when I'm holding the headquarters and I know the enemy is spawning back there, I will jump up onto this right here, and there you go. That gives you a better line of sight on those people that they don't normally expect. Also from this position, I did want to point out, if you just turn around, you get a great line of sight into that window right there. So if you have your enemies that are camping back in that area, instead of coming around the corner and getting lit up by those guys in the window, you can use this as a check spot where you just hop up right here. They're not normally looking this way, so you should have plenty of time to have a look in that window and possibly pick them off. Next up, I've got a great way to get on top of the roof here that many of you guys probably don't know about, and that is using these crates here. Now, to get on those crates, you have to jump to this one, and then you have to kind of jump around the corner. It's a bit difficult to hit that, but with, with practice, you can hit it really consistently. And then from here, you can just jump across like that. Most people don't know about that one yet, and I've been putting that one to use, and I usually take people off guard when I use that. Now from on top of here, there's something that a lot of you guys probably saw, but some of you probably didn't. You can actually get right up on top of this roof, but the only way that I know of to do this is by using one of the barricade field upgrades. So if you place it down like that, then you can jump up onto that field upgrade, and then from there, you're on top of the roof, and then up here, you've got a pretty good line of sight on the entire map. Although, at the same time, they have a pretty good line of sight on you. So, usually once they find out you're up here, you're not going to last very long. But I did want to point out one little line of sight, which is right there. Kind of ridiculous, but you can pick those people off really easily from up here. Now, this brings us to another line of sight to that headquarters area down here. Let's just say maybe the enemies capture the headquarters and you're spawning back here. It can be really difficult to approach them by coming around the corner. So if you go, go through the building and get onto the roof here, I find the best way to challenge them is to simply come right here and look at that. You've got a perfect line of sight. You can pick all those people off. They never see this one coming. And it's great for taking control of that headquarters area right there. This is also kind of nice if you want to get a line of sight on the people that are down in that doorway right there. Although to them, you are kind of exposed here. It's just a slightly less expected spot than normal. Now, another thing I wanted to point out is if you're back in this C Domination building, if you hop up on the table right here, that also gets you a great line of sight into that area down there. But of course, you're very exposed to anybody that might be in that window. Now, if you want to challenge people in that window, the best and most effective way I've found to challenge them is from right here because you've got really good cover, a really good head glitch, and you can just peek back and forth using this. Now, getting back over by the yellow building, just wanted to point out if you have enemies in that doorway or maybe they're up top right there, you can often get yourself pinned back here pretty easily because they have the height advantage and you've got no cover. The best way to challenge them is to simply hop up on this crate right here. It's not letting me do it. It's really inconsistent, but there you go. Hop up on the crate, great line of sight to the doorway, and a better way to challenge those people that are up there rather than just coming around the side. Now, with the C Domination building, this one's pretty obvious to most people, but you can jump into the window like that. Very, very simple. And also, once again, just keep in mind that you can spray through these floorboards very, very easily. So if you know somebody's camping in the window right above you here, then you can just spray through. When you get some hit markers, keep spraying, and you just might get a kill on them. Now, getting back into this area here, a little jump spot you may not have known about is from this van. You can jump to this area right here. This gives you a great line of sight into the doorways, by the way. So if you have people camping in top green, I really like popping myself up here, and then you get great lines of sight into, their, into those doorways. Now, just an alternative to using that van, you can also jump up using this area right here. You just jump across. It does require a few more jumps, but it's also a great way to get up here. I should also point out that from here, you do get a great line of sight to that spot right there on that wall, which on the other side of that wall is a little crate that they can stand on, so it's a great way to pick those people off as well. Now, coming through this back alley area, a great way to get a line of sight on the back window right there, instead of hopping up to the spot where they expect you to hop up, which is right here, is if you actually use the back of this car, or the hood of this car, I think works a little bit better, yeah. So if you hop up on the hood, then all you have to do is back yourself up, and you can expose exactly the amount of your head as you want to, just by moving backwards or forwards on this car. And this is a great way to pick those guys off that are just camping back in that window. Also from this car, I did want to point out, you can make this jump across here. It might look like you can't, based on Modern Warfare standards, but you absolutely can make that jump. Now getting all the way over to this area right here, a great way to challenge the people that are sitting up in that window right there. Instead of coming around the corner, they're often pre-aiming right here. What I like to do to check for that spot is simply hop up on the back of this car, and there you go. You get a little bit of a better line of sight into that window. Now towards the middle of the map, if you have enemies that are just camping up in that area there, and you know you're relatively safe to the rest of the map, a great way to challenge people in the window is to simply stand right here. You expose very little of yourself by doing this. But if you want an even better spot, you can actually use the windows once again right here and just spray through those to get yourself your kill. So that pretty much covers it for all of the jump spots and the nice counter camping lines of sight that I have for you guys for Hackney Yard. 
However, I did also want to give you guys a brief overview of the spawn points on this map. Now this time around with this series, I'm not going to go into super great detail with the spawn logic and exactly how it works and everything. Instead, what I'm going to do is just show you the spawn points as well as the frequency that I found these spawn points in for Domination. This will vary a little bit depending on game modes, although a lot of them will be shared across multiple game modes. So what I did to find the frequency of spawn points is I put myself in a custom game with bots and I killed myself 50 times on each side of the map. So 50 times while holding the A flag and 50 times while holding the C flag. Then I just recorded all of the spawn locations as well as the frequency of those spawn locations. And by far the most frequent spawns that I saw were these green ones right here. There's three on each side of the map. And for each of these with 50 deaths on each side of the map, I was spawning at each one of these spawns at least five times out of those 50 deaths. Next up, we have the somewhat common secondary spawn. These are the orange spawns that I'm going to pop up here. And these are the ones that I saw about three to five times per 50 deaths. So they're not exactly uncommon, but at the same time, they're not really the primary spawns that I was finding. And finally, this just leaves us with the more rare spawn points. These ones will happen in very specific situations. And I was only seeing these ones like once or twice out of 50 spawns on each side. So there you have it. There's a decent spawn map for you guys on Hackney Yard. Keep in mind, it's not necessarily a comprehensive list of every potential spawn point on the map, but it should at least give you a good indication of where you should expect to see enemies spawning more often than not. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Maps Exposed on Hackney Yard. So this series is going to progress based on your guys' recommendation. Let me know in the comment section below which one of the maps do you want to see me cover next. Keep in mind, I am going to be doing ground war maps separately, so those will probably be done a bit later on because I can't access them in custom games, so they're a lot more complex. But out of these standard multiplayer maps, which one would you like me to cover next? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.